I'm excited because we are here on the finale episode of Vega 411, and we are having a bell of a ball today because we got tons of snacks, cookies, M&Ms, donuts. I mean, because we're having a belly full of topics, gossip, headline news, and I'm going to eat myself away out of all of this because I'm excited. So don't go anywhere because this is Vega 411, the season finale episode, episode 10 with Fabian Cedeno. And Tony Braxton. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, first of all, let me introduce everybody. This is Tony Ryan, also known as Tony Braxton. Yeah. But no, we is Tony Ryan. We always <laughs> say, Braxton, if you're nasty. If you're nasty. Baby, Mr. So Daniel has brought his idol, Tony Braxton. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> as long as I got a Tony. Right. Yes. <laughs> Tony is so, going for the Tony. Tony Ryan Tony is going for the Tony. Yes. After that performance at uh, Woman on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown, congratulations, you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You guys were on the show of uh, Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown. Um, Fabi uh, as you guys already know, Fabian and Daniel is back again. Yes, I am. Highest rated episode. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> episode number we five. We don't know. No, yet. no, we don't know yet. But I'm, I'm, we, I'm so glad to be back. I Thank know. you for having me. Yes, of course, baby. I'm excited to have you back on the show again. I mean, everybody has been flooding the emails, the comment section. Everybody's been just they showing love you love as well. Of course. They love us. So it's genuine love. Yeah. So first off, um, Fabian Cedeno and Tony Ryan was on the show collectively on Woman on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown mm -hmm. at City College um, just a couple of weeks ago. If you guys checked out, you could see me and Fabian um, on a picture where I went to support him, That's which was an amazing, exceptional show. I was still waiting on your solos. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, snip, snip. They yeah. did us dirty, but yeah. it's all right. It's all right. Maybe on the next one? Yeah. 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 Most definitely. Oh, I'm down. One. Are you guys ready to dig in? Yes, most yes, well, definitely. Yes, yes, I'm ready. Let's go. Yes, we're ready to dig in because we got a lot of sh uh, topics on the hand. So this segment is Vega Formal One's hashtag Venti Talk Panel. And when we say Venti Talk Panel, we're talking about the latest trends and gossip, um, headline news, politics. Um, we're also talking about anything that has to go in our top of our minds. So I'm excited. We have a lot of things to talk about. And uh, we're going to go on and on and on. I mean, everything is going to be uncensored. Okay. <laughs> you we know what you're getting into. Yeah, they're about to get it real up in We are. We are. Because there's a lot of things to talk about. So the way we're going to start it is, if you've seen the show, uh, I'm going to go first. I'm going to have the first topic. And then we're going to just go right into our opinions. All bets are off, guys. So um, first topic that I want to talk about. I mean, okay. Why don't we talk about, let's talk about a little bit about obsession. Obsession in terms of people in um, their personal lives or obsessive people in relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, when I mean by obsession, we're talking about being in those intoxicated relationships where that individual cannot see the real, true uh, colors of that person or what, what's really happening. So when I say obsessive, yeah. What can you say about people who are in those type of uh, relationships where everything is falsified mm -hmm. or even personal? Have you guys have any, like, can you chime in about your personal opinions or experiences about obsessive people? You mean like codependent, available lights on. Great <laughs> blood! Yes. <laughs> Great blood! Yes, we're we are plugging that in down there. Don't you take my love away? But you say codependent. Yeah. It's okay. like when somebody's really fixed it. If you think about it, even with the song, I'm not plugging it, but it's like a chemical imbalance in somebody's brain. That's how I consider it. Like, mm -hmm. they really fix their mind. It's like, it's like, no offense, it's like you're talking to a crackhead to get sober. Oh, okay. They vary their mind is not there. So if you have a situation where it can be a friend, you know, your friend that's in a situation or situationship. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
sometimes they get defensive when you try to like bring them like justice or like show them the facts. Because when you're in it, sometimes love is blind or obsession is blind. And sometimes people are very dependent on toxicity, you know? Like some people thrive like, in the yeah. toxic nature of those kind of relationships, you know? Instead of being like, you know, this is really bad for me. I'm spending all my time upset or things are getting nasty, things are getting ugly. Some people rival in that. Mm -hmm. And when you have those kind of people around you, it doesn't matter what kind of relationship it is. I've had toxic friendships. Yes. I've had toxic relationships. I've had toxic family members. Yeah. But what about like those types of people where you have certain individuals where they are in those toxic relationships like i know previously there was um, a guest her name was um veronica on her very and she talked um very like deep about she was in an, uh, in a relationship for five years where she was being mentally and physically abused mm. so when do you know when it's it's not good for you or like how can you know when to get out of it when everybody's telling you get out get out or that person's no good for you what that person's using you for your money that yeah. person's only using you because you're in a benefit yeah. why do you feel that you're less of that you have to be in this type of situation to feel that you got everything under control it's like for example the movie you know Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever read the DVD? Which cover? I love that movie. It's yeah, a great movie, yes. yeah. The action scene at the end, I am like, yes. J-Lo, 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 you did your thing, I'm still. It's like the movie, if you ever read like the DVD cover, it had a quote that I always, always, always remember. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, it says. I streamed it. It says. I love the quote. Cheap home. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am. I am mad. You keep right. making your your um your Netflix account. Right. Making right. Your new PayPal. Right. You get a free account. Yeah. You get a free account. And we are not boycotting Netflix. No. no. But that's no. a separate topic of its own. Yeah. But yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank. Back to the topic. Yeah. Um, on the DVD cover, I always remember what the quote said. It was a picture of J-Lo, and then it said, enough, obviously. Then it says, everyone has a limit. Mm -hmm. And it makes it, it makes it like, for example, to be honest, I don't think it's enough until it's enough for them. Now, I, no matter how much you tell them, until they get to that point when it's like... Well, in your song, uh, Fabian, you, when you was talking about codependent, would you say at that time when you was going through that relationship and you wrote that song, was you going through a time where you was um, not accepting what was real and not real? It's just like, for example, Codependent was written like, obviously it was like, first I was going to sing it, then I, like I said, it was, I wanted to do it for the group. But then I changed some of the lyrics to be into me. It was, it's not so much that it's like, hooked on being, wanted to be in love, or hooked on the thought of being in love. The thought of being in love in the, the state of being in love is totally different. Because mm -hmm. if you have to give up your self-love to somebody, mm -hmm. that's not love. Mm. What about what about you, Tony? Um, have you been in a, a situation where you was a little bit blinded on what was real? That person telling you that person's no good for you, or why are you in this relationship? That you, you being used and abused? Yes, I definitely have. Um, like a, a lot of ladies out there, you know, sometimes like when you feel that feeling like, because be, being in love is that endorphin high, you know mm. what I mean? It gets you going just like, you know, my gingerbread in the morning, baby. Hello. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it gets you going, your heart's pumping, all that adrenaline, you know? And sometimes, like I was at a place where everybody's like, leave him alone, Tony, leave him alone. Like, why are you doing this to yourself? You deserve better. You mm. deserve more. Right. But it also had to deal with me. Just because somebody can tell you you're beautiful, you're enough, you deserve this, you deserve that, doesn't always mean that you feel that way. Right. Because I'm so addicted to this feeling, I'm so, and I'm attaching this feeling with this person, so now it's like I'm addicted to this person, that I'm going to accept it because I'll do anything for this feeling, you yeah, know? Mm -hmm. And so then sometimes you know you 
But they ain't cold without you. You feeling foolish and everything yeah. like that. And you start to say, you start to do things <laughs> that you didn't thought. Yeah. You know, oh, Ashanti yes. grew this a she, long she, way. She, Ashanti grew oh. There's people like that yeah. where they get in, <clears throat> excuse me, they get in a relationship and everybody else is excluded in their life. Yeah. Nobody's non-existent, but they don't realize that that person is not good for them. They're only using them as a beneficiary. They're only yeah. using them for them taking out to dates and the buying them yeah. and the convenience and not seeing that. If that person knows that they that they only you, you having you just for a limited of time only, and then when an opportunity comes, bam, they Wait, go with that next person. Yeah. Like a bad habit. And yeah. then you get anxiety, you get depressed, and you get yeah. stressed out, and you're like, where did I go wrong? Well, you should have known that your worth was better, was More. worth yeah. well well enough to know that I'm better than this, and I don't need to be used and abused. Or, you know, your dick ain't that great for me to be like, I need to be that obsessed with you. Or your pussy's not that loose uh, yeah, enough or tight enough for me to be with you. So yeah. I would have to say, Yo, mushy. <laughs> like, I'm worth more than just you, t- you know, treating me like, oh, I only, I'm only a good, I'm, a, I'm only good for you when you need me to, like, take you out. The bedroom, too. too. The people the bedroom and buy you, buy yeah. you all these gifts. But then, yet. Yeah, no one has me on social media. No mm-hmm. one knows that I'm dating you. No one knows. Yeah. So how does that go? When they treat you like I, a secret hoe. I've had family. I have family members that. That's an obsession that you don't know what's reality. Yeah. yeah. I have had family members that they turned for someone that they didn't, they wasn't even with not even six months for, and it's sad because it's like. I did this, that, this, that. Yeah. And it's not even throwing that out there. It just yeah. goes. Hmm. I'm your blood. Yeah. And I've done for you more than what this person, but I guess something's thicker than blood. You mean cock? <laughs> that's, no, no, that's, that's the only one thing on my mind. No, no, we're not going to. Let's just say everybody alluded to Mariah Carey's song, Honey, just being that. I'm not going to say what. We ain't going to get into that. We're not going to get into that. But I don't talk like that. Oh my gosh, you know Mariah, she going through that bipolar thing that she's been suffering. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, hopefully everything works out for Shout Mariah. Out yeah. Mariah. I, hope she gets, I hope she gets the care and the stuff that she's she She's been going through a lot of love she, stuff, especially yeah. a lot of obsession. Yeah. But, you know, we got more to talk about making for a while yeah. because um, we got way more topics at hand. So that was a great segment. So stay tuned because we still got more making for one. one. Cause if you think you can't get snatched in these streets, oh why? <laughs> <laughs> Just like Mariah did in about like how long for about a couple of months. What happened? Mariah got snatched. She was a she was a pork girl. Oh yes. Oh that. She used to look like a lamb chop. Now she's looking like a fuzzy lamb. No, when they tried to bend her. <laughs> <laughs> The That's world. what we're talking about no. right now. Welcome back to Vegas. Like <laughs> no, we were just talking about Mariah on the last one as we were segueing it. Um, Fabian Sedano um, has a topic and it has to do with um, Mariah Carey. So, Mariah, what um, we have on our tables, Fabian Sedano. Um, it was reported by People Magazine, which is the the next week's episode. Excuse me, the next week's issue about Mariah Carey. She broke her silence about um being being bipolar for a couple of years and she finally came to like accepting that. She spent a lot of years denying it. And that's actually what happened to her breakdown in 2001. When Jayla stole her song. (laughs) (laughs) I think that's what started her breakdown. That would make that I would go have a bipolar disorder. So Somebody like, <laughs> is that the reason why she went through a breakdown? You said a couple of years. When yeah, it was 2001. That's like right on the height of like glitter. I think glitter was a hit. I don't give a fuck about it. I don't care what nobody says. Stardust. Uh, oh, glitter. Yes, glitter was exceptional. But what yeah. happened to her in her career? We love she, you, Mimi. She came back with um, Emancipation of Mimi. Which was an amazing album. When it's always an exceptional album. I mean, I, I I know I've been throwing so much shade tomorrow, but anyway, go ahead. Yeah, Maybe. but we we want to um throw it out there too. We wish Mariah well. When you think of Mariah Carey, what what do you think of? What can you say about her story about her being in this bipolar disorder that's going on for years? I mean, for me, it's like you know, mental health is no joke. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, and 
I feel like Mariah has given us her all over the years. Yes, plug in. Yeah, my yeah. All. Uh, <laughs> yeah that's her song. Yes. Yeah. yes. My, um, Available on iTunes. Yeah. Yes. But was that from the, that was from the, the Butterfly album. Oh, that's amazing. There was a time where she was around the canon and she was doing a lot of, you know, alcoholic beverages and a lot of bubbles yeah. and you know yeah. she loves her bubbles she does. You can say but it. now she's I, I knowing that i'm seeing her now and posting every month of her in the studio it looks like she's getting she's using music as like you said a oh. therapy to mm -hmm. calm herself down and not telling people about her uh, secrets i love the new show that's on vh1 it's called tiana and iman oh, oh tell me about it i don't know too much about that what's that yet. about it's about her and her husband and her daughter junie and she, I love this line that she goes, so. yes, Petunia! <laughs> and who's she talking about? Uh, she just says Petunia. Petunia is everybody, according to her. You know, I've heard, um, well, I can't even mention his name. I've heard Kaya mention of Petunia. Who? <laughs> <laughs> my neck and my back. Oh, I don't know who that she is. She has mentioned... Previously on the Queen's Court when she was on the Queen's Court. When? What? When? I only know New York and T.S. Madison. She called um, Deborah Lee Petunia. From BET. And I didn't know who she meant about Petunia. So when she was like, oh, Petunia, when she was like, F you, Petunia the pig. <laughs> F you. And Madison was like, who's Petunia? Deborah Lee. You know Deborah Lee. I don't like that big ass punk ass. Mm -hmm. I was like, who Petunia? And then I looked up on Google and I was like, oh, that's Petunia. That's Porky Pig's girlfriend. With the pigtails. Yes, that's that's you know Petunia. What's funny? I, so I don't know. I was laughing. So when you were talking about Petunia, I'm like, anybody yeah, remember that like, Petunia is a pig? Tiana Taylor goes, yes, Petunia. Yeah. Yeah. When is um when does the show come out? Oh, it already came out. Oh, it's already out now. Yeah, the third episode um came out. Okay, all right. So where can they catch it? On VH1. Oh, on VH1. VH1. Now I need VH1 to stop with their damn reality t uh, shows because their reality shows are all the same. Which Mona one? Scott. Yeah, she's a that. bag collector up. <laughs> she, she collects those bags. She does she's like, you need drama? Does. I give what? what you but, I, but she gives, me but she giving the LGBT community a bad name with her storylines and what she yeah. keeps on putting all this stuff. I mean, yeah. we're not saying, oh, hey, so Mona Scott, I know Barry, I want a bag, but come on, don't betray us LGBT folks. Like, we scan those hoes, thoughts, and every storyline we get is, my man is messing around with another man. Yeah, it's true. And if you true. think about it, and all these African American women and Latino uh, men, men, and we're all and yeah, fighting. they were fighting. Yeah, like, that's they not what did. we're about. We're right. talking about love and hip hop. If we can I'm sit at this stable. table and be fine, then Mona girl. But one thing I also noticed that, it, to be real, is not Mona. Remember, Viacom. Sorry, Viacom. I might mess up my chances as of being working with you. <laughs> But, Say that it's Ben Tito. Yeah, I got it. I got it for the team. Remember, a lot of those shows come with writers, and a lot of producers. Not it's not only Mona. There's producers that will sit down and be like, "What you just bless you?" Thank you. But we can be say we we were in a reality show. They'll we'll talk about our conversation and be like, "That's why what you just said." Now talk about this person from last week that you were supposed to be meeting up with. Mm -hmm. That they they make you say things. I mean, I get that, but it's also, and this is another thing when it comes down to artists, actors, dance, it's also about your integrity. That's what true, are you putting but, your name to? What are you putting you your name also, to? But you also, yeah, that's true, but one thing I did know, I think, it, I can't quote on her, but I think it was Erica Menon that say that you get fined it for certain things. Like what do you mean fined it? Like, if you don't say something or show up to a taping, yeah. they could be like, for example, your arch nemesis, they'd be like, yo, we shooting at this time, you have to show up. If you don't show up, they could be like, oh, we're taking 25% um, of your check or 50% yeah. of your salary for the season. It's also about, like, it doesn't have to be Caucasian. I can be a black person in this body with exactly. this voice who speaks proper English, mm -hmm. who has a great education, you know, without that 
automatically assuming that I'm trying to be Caucasian. Right. You know? that, I'm just an that, intelligent yeah, person that's of color. something. I think we just got to be true who we are mm-hmm. and not let anything get the best of us. I mean, we, we there's certain things we could say and certain things we cannot say because, you know, especially when you have sponsors and there's a lot of endorsement yeah. days and all that stuff yeah. can hurt us. Something that I need some sponsors on this show so that way we can get paid, darling. <laughs> <laughs> we got more and more on Vega 411 because Tony got some topics I have. So stay put. This is Vega 411. What's going on? Hey guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and follow Vega411 on all social platforms right below, right here. My name is Jesse Vega, and I see you guys soon. We have <laughs> Tony Ryan. Yes. At least so, I brought a Tony. I'm taking a donut. Just with that uh, show that you guys have, you all deserve a Tony. Thank you. Yes, thank uh-huh. you. Even though I'm still waiting on those solos. <laughs> You'll get them one day. One day, one day. Not a natural. <laughs> okay, so Tony, what do you have on your desk? Uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about was uh, the recent scandal of Tristan Thompson cheating on Khloe Kardashian. Ooh. Have you heard about that? Oh, the Kardashians. You know, I've seen it. Ooh. Every time I hear about those Kardashians, yeah, she reported it. I'm yes. going to have to turn it over to Fabian about the Kardashians. I'm, I'm going to just chime on on the Kardashians. Fabian, what... What's going on with what? What is going on first off with um the cheating? Like what? What's been supposed? Is this alleged? Um oh. yes, right right now it's still alleged. It's not alleged, but there's but video, video footage, footage of him like, in, like um it was on TMZ. Oh, it's on TMZ. Yeah, so there's some um, some alleged guy who may or may not be Tristan Thompson, <laughs> tonguing down some women, motorboating them. He's seen coming in and out of hotels with women and everything like that. And um, I, I hope everybody knows that at one point Tristan Thompson did have a girlfriend who was currently pregnant, and he left her for Khloe Kardashian. Ooh. And now that Khloe Kardashian is also pregnant, it seems like you know leopards don't change their spots. No, they don't. No, they don't. He was like, "You pregnant? I'm out." <laughs> Deuces. Deuces. What? You he put on child support? Up. No child support on them. No, I think she has not on child support, but he's not. Some time. Yeah, but he's not seeing care. his. He does not see his child, from what it sounds like. So mm-hmm. is Tr- so Tristan. Tristan, um, who's wait? Tristan is is the one who's. Um, he's a basketball. He's a basketball player. player. He's yeah. the one that is seeing another alleged woman. He was. He, it was two women. Yes, it was two women. It was him sitting another woman, and he was making out with the first woman. Yes. And this, and they caught him doing this. Yes. Yeah, you can clearly, you can clearly see in the video footage of us. Um, what do you think about this? That's crazy. Um, people don't change. No one is changing. Uh, no, no. Well, hopefully she gets to see the the, the light. Yes. And what's what's real and what's not real. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what else do you have um, that's also presented on your table? I also wanted to talk about um, you know our cheese doodle in chief, Mr. President. Donald J. Trump. Hold on, where are my earplugs? <laughs> when you said cheese doodles, I just we said gotta put on the cheese glasses right cheese. now. Okay, what's going on with Mr. Um, Trump? When when there's not something, right? Something going on I with know. Trump. I know. He's 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 he can't help it. You know, cheese doodles they get crumbly. Right. He be dropping mess all over the place. It's not what's going fault. on with him now. Um, I just wanted to talk about the current like DACA situation. You know, um. How he he keeps going back and forth with, oh, yeah, we're going to make sure that the kids can stay in America. And recently, not too long ago, he did say again that now he's flipping the script and saying that we don't know what he's going to do about DACA and if he's going to have the kids stay there or not. Now, DACA, what is DACA? DACA? I mean, somebody who's like me, I mean, again, I know some people watching this are like, just you need to know about your politics, what's (laughs) going on with you. You know, all of this damn celebrity news, you don't know what's going on. For the people who are watching who doesn't know what DACA is, can you a little bit elaborate on that? Okay, so DACA is um, this current legislation that started with President Obama, where um, it's basically like, what is it called? The Freedom Act, I think it is? Yeah, it's, it, um, oh, go ahead. Babe. Yeah, no, it, it's like um, basically that um, I think if an uh, immigrant stays here, does all the proper protocols. Yes. They're able to bring some of the relatives, like their children or their yes. wives that are still, or husbands yes. that are still there. So these kids are technically illegal, but um, during uh, President Obama's term, he had them kind of come out of the shadows. It's like a treaty. They, yes, they, they did a kind of like an agreement where it's like, mm-hmm. if you sign yourself up for this situation, 
we will kind of give you some rights and we'll try to work on your children having um, citizenship, citizenship, you know? So all of these kids have been like enrolled in schools. Um, a couple of months ago, there was one girl who spoke out about being an illegal and she was going off to Harvard, you wow. know? Like these are all kids who are really trying to do something better yeah, with their lives. While they're in America. Yeah, while they're in America, you know? So these are not just your average people who are just like, Sitting around doing nothing, you know. And Trump is trying to bring them back to their country. That's he, what, yes. Yeah, he's, he's trying to lift that treaty. And yes. get it, like he's um, been on with that. How world. they call it vetoed? Like, yes. He's he's trying to get that the, the, um, because Obama allowed it. Yes. So p even the, even people who uh would normally be like, oh, we don't want illegals, mm -hmm. understand that these are kids who. Like, some of these people, kids came hard. here when they were, like, five years old. Yeah. You know what I mean? They know no other country this besides one. this one. They wouldn't know how to navigate their home country. Um, and, it, you know, it's kind of the idea of, like, who, what makes somebody an American citizen? You know what I mean? I mean, America, I mean, in the United States of America, we were built all on immigrants. Yes. This whole country was all on immigrants. Yes. So, I mean... We could go on with this conversation with in regards to like fighting about what's right and what's not right in ter in terms of our legal system. But um, I know you was about to touch some bases, uh, Fable. You was about to uh, add on to something. What you was gonna say? Yeah, it, it it's a shame because they have like this mindset that oh, immigrants come here and they're bad. Yeah, and they're bad people, and this is what he's fixing them to people's brains. He's sent. He's telling them oh. They're going to steal your jobs. They're going to steal your job. Yeah. They're going to come rape your children. Like crazy um, statements yeah. that he would throw out. And that's not true. And like, a lot of these immigrants, I mean, most of these immigrants, they they, they work hard for their money yeah. to stay in this country. Yeah. I mean, I just... They're actually the ones that help us thrive. They yeah. even help my plumbing. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> they, they do help my plumbing. The little Mexicans that come up in here, they do help my plumbing. Before we close off, can you tell everybody how can they find you? What are you currently working on? And um, any upcoming news that's going on with you? Um, well, if you are looking for me, you can find me at Life as Tony on Twitter and Instagram. Follow on Instagram, you mean? Um, <laughs> follow her. Yes, follow me, please. Um, and uh, currently, I am going to be in two productions. Yes, two yes, productions. Yes. yes, she got casting. Actors' yes. lives matter. Yes, yes they do. <laughs> Support us. We broke. Put us on the <laughs> put us on the equity on yes, side. Please, yes, tag us. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. So make sure you catch that. And Fabian, what are you currently working on? And um, what's coming? How can they find you? Um, at Fabian Cedeno, um, all social media, all of them you can find me. Congrats on the LDM radio. Like, thank you. Interview. Yes. Shout out to LDM. Shout out to Galaxy. Also, Galaxy have me looking. For are you ready? This is not Galaxy Cedeno. Yes. Yeah. Get the ensemble. <laughs> Get the ensemble. to me. Galaxy always looks out for Sponsoring me. Sponsoring the girls. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. They sponsor, they, they, they're very, they're very um, supportive of my music too. Everybody there. Uh, shout out to the Galaxy by Harvick and um, you said he always sets up everything I do. He really like, really takes the time mm -hmm. out. Um, I actually, I have a shoot with them a couple more weeks. Yeah. But for my second and the shoot. remix? Oh, the remix is coming out. I can't announce yet who's on it. But if it's not out or out by the week, but it's coming out. It's supposed I'm to come gonna, out tomorrow, May 1st. May 1st, yeah. Um, Tomorrow is supposed to come out. The, hopefully, my manager gets that done. <laughs> my new manager. Right. Oh, that was a shit. Shade. No, <laughs> no, yeah, but shade. he's uh, here on the manager. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers to <laughs> you. And also closing off, um, thank you everybody for showing support on Vega 401 season seven. It's the thank finale you know. episode. I love you guys and um to give you a little bit of more of what's going on uh, in uh, the world of my, what I'm doing. So let me just do some plugins. Um, I just got casted in another short film called How About That Fettuccine. Hey! It's an LGBT short film by um, independent production company called The Crooked Gene. 
That's um, we start. Uh, actually, we're already in production uh, as of right now. That's so I don't good. know when the the film will come out, but I'm actually playing the love interest. Oh, in the, in yes, the, in the love interest. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. We're working. <laughs> working. Yeah. Working. Busy. Working busy. <laughs> Also, um, check out. We also. I'm also working on a remix to "Beat Your Face." Beat, beat, beat your face. Yes, "Beat, beat Your beat, Face" beat, remix will be out. Um, well, we actually in we actually in rehearsals right now, but we will come out. And so I'll keep you guys posted because I have a couple of upcoming films that's supposed to come out. So stay tuned. You already know Jesse Vega at Jesse Vega J E S S E V three G A www.jessievega.com and you already know we'll be back again um, next year for season 8 Woo! working on some more stuff we just got nominated again at the People's Choice I mean People's Choice I wish <laughs> <laughs> one day one day we'll be there we get the surfboard so we get into existence the Speaking. People's Film Festival the Olay Awards Olay yeah the People's Choice is Nickelodeon yeah yeah the surfboard right the surfboard People's Film Festival Olay Awards are in um, June I believe well, let me just close because I've been ranting on. Thank you guys so much. I love you. And this is Vega Phone on What's Going On. Woo!